Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Bismillah ar rahman ar rahim Let's move on to the next chapter of our curriculum, which is irregular verbs and uh, lafifun. So specifically, we'll be talking about lafifun, mufrukun. Um, and if you remember, mu'talun is when one of the root letters is a wa or a ya, and lafifun, mufrukun is a subgroup of mu'talun. So lafifun, mufrukun is when the first and the third root letters are a wa or a ya. So there's two root letters, two out of the three, the first one and the third one are wa or ya. And this is a combination of mithalun, which is when the first root letter is wa or ya, and nakis, where the third root letter is wa or ya. So the same rules of mithalun and nakisun apply both in small and big families. So if we look at family four, which is afala yufilu. So now in this chart, the first root letter is made into the vowel wa, uh, uh, wa and the third root letter will be ya. So the second root letter will, is ain. So the first root letter is wa, second root letter is ain, the third root letter is ya. So the past tense will be o a, present tense u e. So you can see in the past tense it has an alif maksura at the end, which is classic with the narkis. And the present tense u e again the ya with the sukun which again is classic tense a classic um, narkis and the mustard is e r un so we notice that it should be u r un but to get rid of the u sound the wa the first root letter wa is replaced with ya and the isme file is mo in so uh, to switch between the present tense and the isme file just change the ya to a meme uh, drop the ya and then the isme file always takes a kasratain because this is narkis a combination of the two so it includes a narkis rules so therefore it's a, it takes a kasratain and the passive part tense is u e ya which if you remember the ya is in the uh, in narkis it comes back in the passive past and the passive present tense is u r so it has the alif maksura at the end and the harakat at the top masar e r an and the isme maful uh, follows the pattern mu an and the command form is o e so if you look at the present tense u e we take the anta version to e in order to make it the lightest we drop the ya with the sukun so it becomes to e and then we drop the ta at the start and because this is and then if you look at the new first letter as a wa with the sukun so we need to add uh, something to the front but because this is family four we add the alif hamza with the fatah so it becomes o e uh, forbidding formula to uh, e so again present tense u e take the anta version to e drop the ya to make it lighter drop the ya with the sukun and then add the lam at the from la to e and the zarf is mo an same as the isme maful which is typical of the big families and that's what we explained just an example for family for afala yufilo and this time we use the three root letters the wa the sad and the ya so the first root letter is a wowl and the third root letter is a wowl uh, so the past tense will be awsa he commanded as you can see the alif maksura because of the it's following the nakis rules in the past tense and the present tense the uc again the ya with the sukun he's commanding and east sa an again the ya as we replace the the the, the first rule letter wa has been replaced with the ya to get rid of the u, u sound to command and isme file is mo sin the one who is commanding so again the present tense to isme file the ya becomes a meme drop the ya with the sukun and make it heavy and isme file in narkis takes a kasratain so mo sin and passive past tense u si ya he was commanded uh, the ya comes back and passive present tense u sa and the as an alif maksura which is a uh, classical for narkis uh, and also with the harakata at the top he's being commanded and masr isa'an to command and ism maful mausan the one who is commanded and again the switching between passive present to ism maful just make change the yard to a meme and just make it heavy because ism maful is a ism and the command is oc so if you look at the present tense yo si just um take the enter version do si drop the uh, make it lighters by dropping the ya with the sukun and then we drop the ta at the front and because this is family four we add the alif hamza with the fata so o c which means uh, you male command and the forbidding form is la to si you male don't command so if you look at the present tense yo si take the anta version to si 
make it lighter by dropping the ya with the sukun and then add the lam at the front. And the zarf is a place and time of commanding so mausan. Same as the is been maful. So looking at subfamily two, which is fa'ala yafilu. So again, uh, in this chart, the first uh, first roulette will be wa, the second will be ain, and the third will be ya. So the past tense will be wa a, the present tense ya e. So if you remember, the wa uh, in the past tense gets changed to a ya in the present tense. And also the narkis, the past tense ya, uh, alif maksura at the end, and the present tense ya with the sukun highlighted in yellow. And the isme file is wa in, because the mustard is something that you have to look up. And it doesn't apply in this case, because we just made this word up for understanding purposes. So isme file is wa in. Again, the if you remember, normally in the small families, uh, fa ilun, but because it's the narkis is fa lin, so it's wa in. Uh, uh, the isme file takes the kasratain because of the nakis and the passive past tense is wu iya so you can see the ya comes back and the passive pres present tense a u r has the alif maksura at the end which is classic for the nakis and all the harakat at the top and isme maful is mau iyun so if you remember with nakis in the small families uh, from subfamily two all the way to six the isme maful fa follows the pattern uh, maf ilun so this is mau iyun the commanding form is simply one letter, it's E. And the reason why, if we look at the present tense, is Ya E. Then take the Anta version, is Ta E. Then to make it lighter, we drop the Ya with the Sukun. So you're left with Ta E. And then we drop the Ta at the start. And you're just left with E. So it's just one letter command form, E. And forbidding form, La Ta E. So again, present tense, Ya E. Take the Anta version, Ta E. Make it lighter as lightest by dropping the ya with the sukun and then add alarm at the start la ta e and the zarf uh, place and time of acting is mo an and the isme alatun is mi atun so you can see the highlighted blue so it should be mu atun so that instead of the ya it should be a wa with the sukun but the because of the u sound you get you change the wa with the ya so you get mi atun which has been explained here. So we'll just go through an example using subfamily two fa'ala yafilu using wa, lam and ya, which is to to befriend. So past tense is wala, so again the alif maksura, he befriended in the present tense ya li. So you can see from the past tense the wa changes into a ya, ya li. And also the ya with the sukun at the end because of the nakis, he is befriending. And the mustard, if you look in, look up, is wilayatan to be friend. And isme file is walin. So again, um, it follows that pattern falin, so walin, uh, which the isme maful classically for narcis takes a kasratain. So the one who is befriending and passive past tense wuliya. So the ya comes back. The passive present tense yula. So all the harakat at the top, and plus because it's a narcis, the ya, the alif maksura is there at the end. The mustard wilayatan. Isme maful is mauliyun because this is subfamily um, two. Therefore, is mauliyun the one who is befriended is not mau. Uh, it's not. It follows the pattern mafiyun, uh, mafiyun, not mafuun. Uh, that's only for subfamily one. And then the compound form is simply li. So you may will befriend because if you look at uh, the present tense yali, take the anta version tali, make it lighter by dropping the ya with the sukun, then you're left with tali. And drop the ta, so you're just left with li only. You may will be friend. And forbidding form la tali. So again, present tense ya li. Change take the anta version tali. Make it light as by dropping the ya with the sakun and then add the lam at the front la tali. You may don't be friend. And the zarf takes a form maulan. Time and place of befriending. And the ismi ala tun is mi la tun. Um, you can see the first rule a wa has been replaced with the ya because otherwise you get the u sound, the mu sound. Miu latan, so we prefer mi latan tool for befriending. And now we will look at lafifun makrunun. So again, um, if you remember that um, mutalun is when one of the root letters is wa or ya, and lafifun makrunun makrunun is a subgroup of mutalun. This is when the second and the third root letters is a wa or a ya. So it behaves like a narcis. 
uh, when the uh, remember nakis or nakis one is when the third ruler is wa or ya, and the same rules of nakis one apply both in small and big families. So if we look at family three, fa ala yu fa ilu. So this time the first ruler is fa, the second ruler is wa, and the third ruler is ya in this uh, table. So the past tense will be fa wa. Fa wa. Uh, present tense will be you far we. So again, the you can see in the past tense you have the alif maksuda because of the nakis, and the present tense you have the ya with the sukun because of the nakis, and the mustard there's two because this is family three, so it's fi wa an and mu fa wa dan, and especially the first mustard you can see the alif with the hamza at the end, which is uh, that occurs in family three, and the isme fa'il is mu fa win. So again. Uh, with nakis, you always get the kasratain, and the ya with the sukun is dropped, and from the present tense, and simply just change the ya to a mean from the present tense to get more far when, and the passive past tense is fu we ya, so the ya returns, which is normal for nakis, and passive present tense you fa wa, so all the harakat at the top, and the alif maksur at the end, and the master ridan fi wa an, mu fa wa tan, and the isme maful is mu fa one. So Again, to switch between the passive present to ismim maful, just take, change the ya to a meme and make it heavy because the ismim maful is an ism and the command form is fa we. So again, if you look at the present tense, you are fi, then all we do is um, take the anta version to fa we and then make it lighter by dropping the ya with the sukun and you're left with to fa we and then you drop the da at the, at the start, then you're left with fa we. And because the new first letter fa has a Harakat, other than the sukun, we don't need to add any extra letters, so it's fa we, and then commanding form la to fa we, so again present tense you are fi, take the anta version to fa we, make it lightest by dropping the ya with the sukun and then add a lam at the front la to fa we, and the zarf is the same as the ismi maful mu fa one. And we explained that as we went along. So example for family three fa'ala yu fa'ilu and this time we'll use uh, the seen, the wa and the ya which means to equalize so the past tense is sawa so he equalized the pre uh, again because of the narcus is alif maksura the present tense you saw we uh, again because of the narcus the ya with the sukun is there he's equalizing and the master siwa an and musawa tan to equalize and isme file musa win Again, the switch between present tense to ism file, just change the ya to a meme, drop the ya with the sukun, and make it heavy because the ism is, and is, ism file is an ism, so we make it heavy, and also bearing in mind the ism file with nakis takes a kasratain, so musa win. And the passive past tense, su wa, su wi ya, so again, um, if you notice that it's got a wa with the sukun, and that's because in the past tense you've got the scene connected to the alif, so to represent the stretch, you add the wa with the sukun, so su wi ya, and the ya comes back, which is normal for nakis in passive past tense. And passive present tense, you saw wa, all the harakat at the top, with alif maksura at the end. He is being equalized, and then mustal siwa an musawatan, two equalized. And then isme maful, uh, the one or the thing which is equalized musa one. So again, switching between passive present to isme maful, change the ya to a meme and make it heavy because the isme maful is an ism. And then the command is sa we, so you may equalize. And again, if you look at the present tense, you sa we. Uh, just take the enter version to sa we, make it lightest by dropping the ya with the sukun, and then drop the ta at the start, and then you're left with sa we. You may equalize and forbidding form la. la La tu sa we you may don't equalize so the present tense you saw we take the anta version tu sa we make it lightest by dropping the ya with the sukun and then add a lam at the front la tu sa we you may don't equalize and then the zarf is the same as is a full musa one time and place of equalizing so we take a look at subfamily two so fa ala yaf ilu so in this chart, the first rule letter is fa, the second is wa, and the third is ya. So the past tense will be fa wa. Again, narkis alif maksura at the end. Present tense ya yaf we. Again, because of the narkis, that you have the ya with the sukun at the end, and the isme file is fa win. Because of subfamily two, so it usually follows the pattern fa lin. So it's fa win. 
uh, and it takes a kasratain uh, as per usual with the nakis and the passive past tense full the ya again the ya comes back and the passive present tense yuf wa with the alif maksura at the end all the harakat at the top and the ismen maful is mafuiyun which is typical for nakis from subfamily 2 all the way to subfamily 6 mafuiyun and then the command is if we so if you look at the present tense yaf we take the anta version taf we make it lighter by dropping the ya with the sakun and then we drop the the ta at the, uh, at the start and because the new first letter fa has a sakun we add an alif we look at the second to last letter wa which has a kasra therefore we add a kasra to the alif so it becomes if we forbidding formula taf we the present tense yaf we take the anta version taf we uh, make it lighter by dropping the ya with the sukun and then add the lam at the front la tafwi and the zarf is maf one so that's the uh, normal uh, pattern that narkis follows and the ismi alatun mifwatun just an example uh, using subfamily two fa'ala yaf ilu but this time we use the three letters kaf wa and ya which means to iron so the past tense kaf kawa he ironed uh, again, Alif Maksura at the end, which is normal for Narkis in the past tense and present tense, Yakwi. So again, the uh, Ya with the Sukun, which is the typical for Narkis, he's ironing a mustard Kayan to iron if you look it up in the dictionary. And Ismi Fail is Kawin, so the one who is ironing. Again, it uh, takes a Kasratain. And the third ruler is dropped, so it's Kawin. Uh, passive past tense ku ya the ya comes back and the passive present tense yukwa all the harakat at the top with alif maksura at the end which is normal for nakis and then kayen to ayan and isme maful is makwiyun which is normal for subfamily two onwards subfamily one is the if you remember it's maf uh, maf uh, 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 makwiyun the thing which is ayan and the command form is ikwi. So the present tense is yakwi. Uh, take the anta version takwi. Make it in the lightest version. So drop the ya with the sakun. Uh, and then drop the da at the, at the front. And then we need a new. We need to add an alif because the new first letter kaf has a sakun. Second to last letter is a wa with the kasra. Then we add the kasra to the alif. So it's ikwi. You may iron. And the forbidding form is la takwi. And the present tense is uh, yakwi, the under version takwi, make it lighter by dropping the ya with the sakun, and add a lam at the front, la takwi, you may don't iron, and the zarf is mak one, so it follows the uh, normal nakis pattern for zarf, and isme alatun mikwatun, tool for ironing. So if we look at subfamily four, so fa'ila yafalu, but this time what we'll do is the first ruler is fa, the second ruler is ya, and the third ruler is ya also. So if we look at past tense, we notice that there's two versions. So it's fa yi ya, and that the yi follows the e in the original fa ila. And because the present tense is yaf alu, then we expect to have that r sound in the present. But if we go back to the past tense, so fa yi ya, and because there's two ya's in a row, we can combine them, give them a shadda with a fata, so it can become fa ya as well. So it can come in both forms. And the present tense is yaf ya, uh, with the alif maksura which is typical for Narkis, and then Isme file is Fayyun, Fayyun, and this is because of the uh, combination of the, uh, because of the Shadda at the end in the past tense, that's why it takes the Isme file becomes Fayyun, and this is something that we'll discuss uh, in a separate chapter, that what, what occurs uh, when you have a Shadda at the end on the third rule letter. Uh, Passive past tense, uh, fuyiya or fuyiya. Uh, passive present tense is yufya. So again, it's uh, alif maksura at the end because of nakis. And uh, all the harakat at the top. And the ismail fool follows the pattern of yiyun, which is normal for uh, subfamily two onwards. Uh, command form is if ya. So if we take a look at the present tense, yufya, take the anta version, tapya. Then we just lighter drop the alif maksura at the end. Uh, so it's tafya, and then we uh, get remove the ta at the start, and then the new first letter fa has a sukun. Then we add an alif, 
uh, and then we look at the second to last letter the ya has a fatah so we put a kasra on the alif so it becomes if ya so for reading formula tafya yafya we look at the present tense state pianta version tafya to make it light as we drop the alif maksura and then add a lam at the front la tafya and the zarf uh, is mafyan which is normal and ismi'anatan mifyatun this is what we explained an example using subfamily four so fa'ila yafalu and this time we use the ain the ya and the ya and the past tense is a ya or a ya so both forms can can be can can appear and the present tense and the present tense is ya ya so you can see that there's alif maksura in the present tense which is classic for subfamily for um and then mustard with narkis and the mustard is ayyan to be incapable so that's something if you look up in the arabic dictionary and the isme file is ayyun so the one who is incapable and again we'll explain the why that is a shadda with the dhammadain because that occurs when the two the second ruler and the third ruler are the same this is the pattern but this is a separate chapter we'll inshallah get to and we'll discuss how that um how the that how the table or the chart looks when the second and the third ruler are, are the same so the passive past tense is u yi ya so again the because of the narkis the ya comes back and the passive present tense yu ya the alif maksura uh, at the end as well as the the ruler uh, the the harakata o at the top so he is being made in, incapable of and master ayyan to be incapable of and is a fool ma yu yun the one who is made in, incapable of and the command form is e ya so if you look at the present tense ya ya again ta ya take the anta version drop the alif maksura to make it lighter remove the ta add an alif the second to last letter ya has a fata then we add a kasra to the alif so e ya you may uh, be incapable of and then um, uh, present tense or well, past tense uh, forbidding formula ta ya and then if you look at the present tense ya ya we take the anta version ta ya to make it light as we drop the alif maksura and add the lam at the front la ta'ya you male don't be incapable of and then the zarf follows the pattern ma'yan time and place of being incapable and ismi alatan mi'yatun and as per usual whenever we reach the end of a chapter we always advise to look over the vocabulary of this chapter at the end of this book ideally at the end of every session this curriculum is studied so that your arabic grammar knowledge increases with your Welcome knowledge, inshallah.